why is it okay for you know women to uh well women to shame men for being broke but it's not okay for the man to you know not really shame but you know tell the woman to you know hey get in the gym I would say one of the main things why it's socially unacceptable is because currently this world is being ran um, uh, by the feminist movement. The feminist movement is in everything. Like mm -hmm. feminism has taken over. It's sunk into the churches. It's sunk into the schools. It uh, It's in the, the workplace. Um, it's in relationships. It's in everything. With that being said, it's what it's doing the byproduct of feminism is we are prioritizing the woman's way of thinking and the woman's way of life right so it's backwards my merch god over man man over woman woman over children we're prioritizing woman first over man so everything is all messed up and what's also happening since the woman is being prioritized. Women have a natural, they have a visceral reaction to feminine men. Like all of y'all, show of hands, y'all want a masculine man, right? You want a man that can protect and provide and that can lead you. But mm. so, so, society is telling men to be more docile, to listen to the woman. I mean, everyone should be listening, but to actually like, no, prioritize what the woman wants, right? Mm -hmm. No, the man should be prioritizing him and his goals because the byproduct of him prioritizing him and his goals is that, well, because men, when we get into a relationship, we always think about our, we never say own. So when a man makes money, he's like, oh, now I'm making money. And he's he's looking for people that he can um, uh, he's looking for people to depend on him when he's making money. When a woman is making money. No, she's looking for independence. You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So it's all reversed. So, yeah, so that's that's the effects. But go ahead. Well, I would say that the media doesn't help either. For sure. Like you think about like suddenly like classic movies that they were male heroes. Now it's like. The female hero and then you have like all these like TV shows where it's like family dynamic but then the woman treat the man like he has no opinion like like everybody loves Raymond I love that <laughs> show <laughs> but Deborah just treat Raymond like it's nothing oh my I gosh yeah, me and my mom do not like that you know like I, I, do, so I like I think it's funny because it's, it's clean comedy and I like clean comedy but I do think that the way they portray men in that show mm -hmm. It's just, it's like, they are the girls and the woman in the show it's are the, the women. Yeah, yeah no, that's and true. It's, the influence of media is definitely, it's like I would helping. say influence is a powerful force because that creates our thinking and that creates the way we behave. Yeah. So if, like you said, if it's on, that's, you know, all of these shows that women are kind of leading, you got the Marvel shows and the superhero shows, the women are stronger Boss than the men. Me. Like what, you and even got, a, uh, what was that one movie, Woman King? Yeah, yeah. Like, God dang. It was but all black women the, in Africa. Like, all right. Exactly. Like, and for young minds, like the new generations, they don't understand the difference yet because they didn't live through enough to yeah. understand that that's not a good idea. Just like democracy, you know, like up to some point, you still need capitalism so you can still be, you know, grow your business. It's, it's like everything. It's like it's, it needs to be a balance. But when the media is pushing an agenda, the original idea of being feminist, it was to help women to, you know, to have some rights, like be able to yeah. vote, to be able to drive. Who are you, vo who you voting for? You going to vote for uh, Camilla or Trump? <laughs> yeah, Did I have her to name answer right? her? Sure, why not? You can answer her. Keep it no fugazi. Trump. 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 I can no. tell. <laughs> I can tell. Then that means you need to move out of L.A. and come on over. Uh, <laughs> uh, well, not only. We, we in uh, PA. Uh, maybe go to Florida but, you or know, Texas. Like, like, he's, <laughs> like, dude, really, like, they portray him as something something but it's just a portray like in reality yeah. you have to focus on like why he you know but this politics but anyway my no, point no, is that's like totally fine. my point is like feminine movement it had a purpose and it's supposed to be to help women to you know to lead better life but, but then it but pushed, by doing so it but then they just but they start to push to the way with family values it start to yeah. go away and a lot of things and then young generations they did they know been true enough to know that some things not gonna work in long yeah. term and and that's the thing like uh, it's, it's a nurture versus nature mm -hmm. so feminism is like well let's nurture society to accept women and give them all of these rights and stuff like that and 
totally fine. I think women should have, you know, choices if they want to work, you know, go ahead. Fine. You could work and stuff like that. But they wanted to nurture it on society. But guess what? Nature always wins because nature is our biology. So when mm -hmm. a woman works, the what happened was, OK, back in the, you know, the 50s and stuff like that. Women wasn't working, maybe had a few jobs and stuff like they were working, but wasn't really, you know, leading the household. Really, it was the man paying the bulk of the bills. That's how most families was. Now, most families is 50-50. Or sometimes the woman usually making more. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. So back in the day, how the biology worked was that, okay, the man is the head of the household and he's bringing in the bills. So she's able to admire the man, look up to him. But now women is work. women are working more. So she's making money, <clears throat> but women, your biology is hypergamous. You have a hypergamous nature, meaning that you want a man that's doing better than you or at least on your level, but you still prefer him to be doing better than you. So now women in the workforce, you're making a hundred K guess what? You only really go into accept a man if he's making a hundred K minimum, but you really want a man that's making more. So what happens is as you enter the workforce and you climb up that corporate ladder, guess what? Your standards climb up too. Mm -hmm. But most men don't meet those standards. So as your standards go up, your options go down. So then it's like, well, God dang, where's all the good men? Well, blame feminism for that. There would be plenty of good men that you would see if you wasn't really out there asserting yourself like that. But it's uh, that's that's just how things work. So it's nurture versus nature, and we all know that nature always wins. So yeah. it's like the ocean, like we oh, in LA, like it's always taken back the land you know like you all these beach houses and some point or in hawaii and some point they're gonna they've been losing land because the ocean is taking back what it belongs to yeah I say something? Yep. and i agree with you it's like a domino effect right so now women are working before we were able to raise kids right so mm -hmm. now we have to work get 50 50 right and the kids are being are growing up on their own so because the kids are growing up, growing up on their own and sometimes families are not staying together because the whole dynamic changed, now there's no men in the house. Then these kids are basically being raised on their own or by the school or by society mm -hmm. because now the woman cannot be there to raise the kids. So it's like a domino effect. So that is, I feel like that is the whole reason why society in total is collapsing. I'm not blaming it on feminism, but... It's 100% uh, feminine's fault. I feel like everything with a balance, it's good. But when you take things too far, exactly, that's when things have a bigger effect. I I am yeah. with feminism because I'm I'm a female and I you know I support women empowerment and all that. But when things are taken out of content and are taken way too far above the line of where they should be, that's when. But that's happen. the thing, right? Like you know, we we've been socially constructed to think certain ways because of feminism. Like you're saying that you you promote like you're with women empowerment. Whoever said that women didn't have power? <laughs> yeah, power since the beginning of the time. We all here because you yeah, all really. y'all birthed us. You know what I'm saying? So it's like, what are you saying when when, it, when you're talking? Uh, I'm speaking in general, like, because it's not you that say it. It's, it's like many women say this. Like, what are you really saying when you're talking about women empowerment? You're you already the empowerment that you have that's in you is that you are a woman mm -hmm. you have a womb right. you can give birth to the next generations and all the generations to come since you can give birth guess what since also you run the dating market right it's illegal for men to commit sa so that means that most men, the majority, 98, 99 point percent of men are doing it the regular courting process way and not actually taking your value from you. So that means that since you run a dating market, you could go ahead and that's power right there. You could assess the market and work on yourself to get to, to make your value in the market so you can compete more and then you can choose right so y'all don't even know your own power one you get to choose the men <laughs> then not only that 
You get to <laughs> then you produce the next generation. So you already have power. Mm -hmm. And what's natural about men, right? Natural about men is we, we have our own biological stuff that's different about women, meaning that we're stronger and stuff like that. Um, and But what that does is it creates a hierarchy. Things work better when it's a hierarchy, a triangle, a triangle, right? So God over man, man over woman, woman over children. But the thing is with society, they switched it. They made it upside down. So now women can't really respect men like that because, you know, they're working and now competing them in most cases. And, but not only that, it's like you've been socially constructed to think that it's a good thing. It's empowerment. So, yeah, I don't really need a man. Go ahead. I also think that we've lost, like, the nuclear family. Like, I do believe I have very conservative beliefs when it comes to men and women. I believe that, you know, obviously women produce children, but I believe that it's like the mother's job to make the rules and it's his, the dad's job to enforce the rules. So I think when I say nuclear family, I mean a dad that provides a woman that nurtures. And mm -hmm. I think that that kind of sets the, sets the stage for the next generation as to what they believe is okay. Um, like I, well, with that being said, so and when it comes to communication, mm -hmm. who do you think is a better communicator, men or women? So you said women should make the rules, right? So who's a better communicator, men or women? Wait, I think men. She, she said women should what? You said you said women should make the rules and men should enforce them. Correct. So no, no that don't make sense. Right. That's that's why well, I'm asking. I, hold on. That's why I'm asking. So who's a better communicator between men and women, men or women? Who are better communicators? Well, that's up for debate. I got a better it, question. Yeah. That question I, is that's up for debate. But we would all say men are better communicators. Me and you would, would say, say men are men. better communicators because we're more direct and we're gonna speak what's on our mind. We're not gonna tiptoe. But the question is, is that the reason why that doesn't make sense? If women should make the rules and men should enforce them, that's the femi That's the fem That's feminism to its to the tenth power. That's what that is. I'll explain. Right. And please listen. No more hands up. Kind of get this work. Right. To understand. So what I'm saying is you're saying that women should make the rules and men should enforce them. That's backwards thinking. Enforcement's rights. Rights is force. Mm -hmm. You don't have any rights unless you have force. Okay. Right. So think about it. Uh, if you speed in, you get a you get a ticket. If you don't pay for that ticket, you get a fine. If you don't pay for that fine, you they're going to if you could it's going to pile up. Is going to stack on more fines on top of one ever. So it gets to the point where if you get pulled over or something, they're going to lock you up and take you to jail. So they're going to force you, mm -hmm. right, to actually pay that fine. Mm -hmm. So all these rights and these rules and regulations is all backed on force. And men enforce all of these rights. Correct. You got it? Mm -hmm. So if, the, if it's anyone, since men actually have to go out there and enforce rights, if it's anyone that's going to be making the uh you know making the laws and stuff like that is going to be men okay. because that's backwards thinking why will we let the lesser do it when they can't even enforce their own rights we have to enforce it for them so we should base things off of merit merit is the work that you put in so now if a woman can out compete a man that's totally fine it's merit mm -hmm. so everything should be judged off of what the woman can produce because that's when it's genuine that's when it's good anything else if we're just giving handouts that's when the world goes to crap because we're trying to socially construct to trying to equalize things and change the pendulum the pendulum but go ahead who, no, you had something right no oh I thought you had your hand up I, I was gonna oh, add something had a hand to up over that here. Um, I feel like nowadays men yeah. are like ending things with more, let's say more, right? Ending things with more men. In Spanish, this the, the term for this is come arroz. It's a, a girl uh -huh. who's at home doing nothing, right? So men break up with those girls because they're at home doing nothing. It goes back to like the 50-50, right? Okay. 50 50 but then at home it's a hundred and zero because a man let's be real like do they like clean what it's it's not all men that do that do you clean at home do you wash the dishes do you do so yeah 50 50 or 100 if the man is providing okay but you're then the that woman is also providing when she's cooking she's cleaning that's a hundred and zero because the men don't do that I got so you. it should never be saying. equal do you know what i mean yeah yeah it should never be equal um yeah and, and then I, I get what you're saying like even if the even if it's 50 50 and a woman is working too <laughs> and a man is working yeah i can the see man, you where, sure don't be cleaning yeah i can see so, even if he's not cleaning but it's insurance men have insurance 
Insurance well, on what? You have insurance on a man. It's the protection. Explain. If in case something happens, if a man, if someone slaps your butt or something, or if someone disrespects you out in public, you got insurance that your man is going to stand up for you and punch that person in his mouth and fully protect you. Mm -hmm. If someone breaks inside the house, like these are insurance, like you have car insurance, you got renter's insurance, you got all of these insurance insurances if in case something happens now we because bad things could happen so that's the man so even though it's 50 50 and he's not making a meal or he's not cleaning up just like you are but your still, insurance but listen i'm gonna he let you still finish. has the insurance to protect okay. you okay now what's his insurance your insurance would be Kids. you as a man when you go out there and you protect me or you go out there to work like you don't have to worry about you know like being all cleaned or your 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 clothes being cleaned or like you go out there because of me because i am providing that for you so your insurance is all right i'm gonna like you're gonna go out there you and you're gonna look clean. great no wait what you talking about okay clean yeah like as as far as your clothing you don't have to worry about that yeah that's not because insurance. As a woman, that's your insurance as a man you yeah, no, no. if you no, have no. a woman your insurance would be like all right i'm not walking out like looking crazy because my woman got that for me so yes, I'm gonna protect her, but that's what she's giving me. That that would be like your insurance as a man, and a lot of men don't see that. Well, I I'm just going based off what you said. I get what you're saying now, but based from what you said, the the in, that I wouldn't say that's insurance. I would say that could just be the dynamic in a relationship between it's who not? sets it. No, that's not insurance. Is if in case something happens, you're insured. So the man. You know, him going outside You're the house. You're insured to go out there with the full belly. You're insured to go out there looking clean. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> insured to go out. I mean, yes. I would use a different word. I, I would say that's, you know, that's expected. <laughs> <laughs> like, that's expected. So, for you, it's expected to protect us. All right. You said it. Well, you, you know, okay. we are expected. <laughs> but, but, it's, but the expectation but you, the expectation comes where it's like... It, situations don't bad situations don't happen all the time so it's insurance if in case something happens your man got you that's what i'm talking about what you were speaking about is nah man we just expect that has that. to be we, it has to <laughs> it don't have to relationships are different so but like those expected. are still something those are things that would still make the man uh 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 that would motivate the man more right so think about it if he can come home to a clean now let, let's just be honest right generally speaking if it's 50 50 i mean the man is doing things too he's gonna be mowing the lawn you ain't mowing no dang right. lawn you ain't shoveling there's men that right? don't do that. <laughs> but i know i know there are exceptions right like there are some people <laughs> that don't do it but let's just, just like girls yeah let's just be honest right mm -hmm. keeping no fugazi mm -hmm. so if it's a relationship and it's 50 50 i got a home you cooking and cleaning he's mowing the lawn and he's uh cleaning off your car and, and doing a whole driveway but ideally you would be cooking ideally, and cleaning yeah. right so but the thing that you don't have to worry about is the protect is the protection okay. if in case something happens he got you but you as men don't have to worry about cooking and cleaning that's what i'm saying but we, we got we do the, we got we do the lawn all right, but we can do the cleaning. Oh Those God. things are, but you, but you expect the man to do the lawn, right? <laughs> oh, you guys expect to have a, a, a what but did yeah, you say? Just, that's Sizzling. the difference. <laughs> no, that's the difference. <laughs> Your expectations, that the things that we expect from you, cooking and cleaning, the things that you expect from us is mowing a lawn and you know shoveling the, uh, you know the driveway and stuff like that. Expectations, got it. The other thing that I'm speaking about is insurance. If in case something happens, danger, 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 stranger, danger, something happens, he's going to be there to protect you. Guys, slap your butt, he knocking them out. <laughs> Dude, talk to you crazy in line or whatever, smooth claim. Yo, who you talking to? Like, man, I, I, get out of here. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. type of guy. And yeah. all of y'all women are attracted to those type right. of men. So that's what I'm saying. But anyways, I, I get what you're saying. I don't think we disagree. I think we was kind of speaking, <laughs> speaking between one another. I have one question. Yeah. If we're doing 50-50, right, um, economically. Yeah. And at the home, I'm expecting to do all of the things at home, right? And the guy's not doing his part of the home, like cutting the grass, yep. doing the manly things. Should he expect the woman to do all the girly things? Um, oh, oh, he's not doing his part no, at all. No. Should he expect like he's it? He's doing the 50-50, but he's not mowing the lawn or 
putting the stuff on the walls. Oh, or... yeah, no, 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 no. What, what was... Ex oh, if he's not holding up his end of the bargain, then it's like, you know, of course the woman is probably not going to hold up her end of the bargain. So should he expect it? No, he shouldn't expect it. Should the woman still do it? Yeah. Um, I think one of the great things that, you know, that a, that a good woman, you know, is when a man, you know, loses his way, the woman is there to stay loyal. Women are loyal. <laughs> You should be loyal. You're supposed to be loyal. You were you were built to be loyal for one man. You look for quality. You have a high pergamous nature. You want the best. So if you get a man that's a quality man, but then he falls off his path, meaning that, you know, maybe lose a job or maybe he has a drinking problem. That woman still needs to stay loyal because that's how the woman, that's how the man, a, a loyal woman helps a man find his way back home. So if you like that clip and you want to watch more, click right here. But if you want to watch the full episode, click right here.